Hey Columbia, today I'm going to show you um, how to do an op art piece. And op art is optical art and it's meant to trick your eye. So it's make something that's 2D look 3D. Um, so this is what we're going to be creating today and I'm going to walk you through how to do it. All you're going to need is a piece of paper and a sharpie. And because your lines don't need to be perfectly straight, you don't even need a ruler. You're going to start by making a big plus sign on your paper. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. The important thing to remember is that you want all the lines to cross through this midpoint right here. Um, okay, so now I have a plus sign. Now I'm going to make an X, and my X is going to go from corner to corner, um, and it doesn't need to be have be straight lines. So I'm going to make mine even a little bit squiggly. Not a lot, just a little. And I'm going to go through the center point again. Okay. So now you have a plus sign, you have an X, and now we're going to make one X, one more X going sideways. And how we're going to do that is we're going to like make a little mark right here, and a little mark right here, a little mark right here, and a little mark right here. Now we're just going to make an X going sideways. And again, these lines are going to cross through the midpoint of your paper. Okay. Now. Uh, you are done with the setup. So now what you want to do is you want to start making curved lines. And curved lines look like rainbows or the letter N um, or an umbrella, the top of an umbrella. It's really, really important that these lines are curved because the curved lines are what's going to make it pop out. If you make a straight line or a not very curved line, it won't look like it's popping out at all. So we're going to begin by making, I'm going to call them rainbows, a rainbow line, curved line. Okay, so this is one whole area. I think it's easiest if you start with one and then complete the rest. You want to make sure they connect. And what I mean by that is start where the last one stopped, make another rainbow shape. Turn your paper, do the same thing. The more curved they are, the more they will look like they're popping out. So if you just keep telling yourself that you're making a rainbow or the top of a big umbrella. Okay. Now you can see it kind of looks like a flower in the middle and it should connect all the way around. So where you should, so it should almost make like a circle shape where it's continuous, um, but you don't want it to spiral. Okay. And I'm just keep going around my center point, um, continuing to make these rainbow lines. And I'm almost done, I have two to go. Um, what really makes these stand out, if you run off the side of the page, you just kind of pretend like the page is still there. Or the line is still there. Oops, and I just connected that to the wrong one. No big deal. Okay, now I'm going to go around all the way. Now the shading is really what's going to make it pop out. And the shading is really important. We're actually going to do the shading with crayons, which we never use in here. But Okay, so now you're done. And what you need to do is use two colors and you're going to alternate those colors in a pattern. Now each one can be different colors and it looks the most interesting is if the same colors don't touch each other. So I'm going to start with red and purple and I'm going to color my darkest right on this line. So I'm going to go right here and this is going to be dark. I'm going to press really hard on each side. You don't want to trace all the way around it because that's going to make it lose its effect. And then you're going to pick up your um, crayon and start coloring a little bit lighter as you get towards the center. All I'm doing is just not pressing as hard. The very middle you want to be white because we want that to look like the light is reflecting. Okay. Oops, purple. I'm pressing my hardest 
and then I'm picking up my crayon and I am not pressing as hard on the sides. Darkest on the edges and then as I get towards the middle, I'm picking it up a little bit. And I want it to be really light right in the middle. Pressing really hard. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Pressing really hard. And lighter, lighter, lighter. Then again, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do this all the way around my paper. And what you'll start to see is that it already starts to look like it's curved. You want to make sure that when you are shading, you're kind of your ends kind of line up. They don't need to be exact, but I'm going to go back through and I'm going to make them line up a little bit more, so that my way my white area kind of lines up. You don't want to draw a line; you just want it to be suggested. Okay, and then I'm done with one whole side, and you're going to continue going all the way around. You can change the colors, and. We will talk about the last step when you guys are finished. Hope you enjoyed.